Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. Today, we're going to be reviewing both Act 1 and Act 2 for the Cirque de Springfield. Gotta be honest, not feeling this event, really. I don't think it's bad, but for me, it's, it's just not for me. And, yeah, my interest has kind of dwindled a little bit and tapped out since this update launched, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know, I'm not very passionate about doing these videos. <laughs> but, uh, whatever, let's do this one. I'm going to power through it and hopefully the next update I enjoy and I, I'm feeling it. So this is Act 1 and 2 for the Simpsons Tapped Out Circuit to Springfield. So we're going to be reviewing both acts, we're going to be talking about both of them and we'll briefly talk about the premium items in both acts as well and then at the end we'll just kind of give my overall opinions and then we'll uh, rank both of them, uh, tell you which one's my favourite. So starting off with Act 1 which is of course titled Super Freak. So here it is, here is Super Freak. So let's go through the prize track. Starting off we've got the Circus Caravan. I think this one's pretty cool. I like this little decoration. It's definitely not a bad decoration for sure. It's a pretty cool looking one. So I'm happy enough with that. We got the Circus Sign and Circus Fences. So I do want to talk about this. I really appreciate the fact that this is in a combo. I like that a lot because A, they're not very significant decorations, so if they just one just took or like a bundle of fences, or if one sign took up an entire part of the prize track, it's a little bit crappy in my opinion. I think it's much better when they're combined like this. So I do really appreciate that, so that is a plus. However, I'm a little iffy on the fences. I don't like the fact that they are added to the store. I do admit that they're not very distinguishable, so it's not like you can't just take the festival fences and build your circus with them. Yeah, that's true, but it, I would prefer it if they were to add them for cash, and I've talked about it before, I'm not going to go, go on about it, but I do find that a bit disappointing. But yeah, both the sign and the fences are fine, I've got no issue with them, the, the sign's pretty cool, the fences are pretty simple, but hey, I mean, don't expect anything too crazy. Then the third prize we have is the Amazing Smoky Monkey, Smoking Monkeys. I think this is actually a really, really cool decoration, it's just... It's just pretty funny, really. Um, I like it a lot, so that one gets a massive thumbs up. Then we got um, Marjorie's Wagon. So, I, I don't mind this one. My only issue with it is, it is a, because of the sort of colour sequence, or the colour palette of the episode, obviously the building kind of reflects that colour palette, and it's a little dull looking, and that's my only complaint about it. And it's really hard to fault it, though, because obviously that was how it looked in the episode, so uh, it's hard to fault it. But I don't mind it. It's, it's a cool enough building. It's fine. And then final character is obviously Marjorie. Um, don't care for a character whatsoever. Pretty bad character, not going to lie. Should be a costume. There's no reason why this shouldn't be a costume for Marge. And also, I'm just going to stand by it. I don't even know if you really needed to add this for Marge. I, I, I think even if this was a costume, to me, I think there's... You're kind of if you are restricting your updates, which is tapped out. If tapped out are restricting their updates to only, you know, we're only gonna get two, uh, for, well, two characters and one costume in the prize tracks. Then I want the characters that we get to be actually like really cool characters, because this one is a crappy character and it would be a crappy costume as well. So I don't like Marjorie whatsoever. It's definitely within the uh, worst of the year for me so far. Uh, one of the worst of the year, probably the worst of the year. I was actually, I think the Burnsome one is a, actually, mm, no, I think the Burnsome one is worse, to be fair. But uh, yeah, a crappy costume altogether. Speaking of Burnsome, let's talk about the premium. Burnsome! Thought the quest line was pretty crappy, thought the uh, animations weren't great, the building's okay, it comes with the, uh, what's it called, the Fleaberg Circus thing, the Monty, what's it called, Burns, Burnsome and Bayleaf. Circus. I like that building. It's an okay little tent, but this character is pretty damn crappy. Do not like this one whatsoever. So yeah, I think he's probably the worst of the update. Definitely do not recommend getting him. Save your donuts. Wait for him to come in a mystery box or something. Uh, I wouldn't recommend him whatsoever. Very crappy. So um, not really much more to say about him to be honest. I just don't like him very much. So that is Burnsome and his Bailey Circus thing. Act two so we've got obviously five prizes here let's have a look so we've got the dingling front office first of all i think this one's okay it's just a caravan really but it looks pretty decent i don't mind it 
So, that one's okay. Circus Seal is cool enough, although I do... Part of me wishes that these were NPCs, these animals. I can kind of understand maybe the, the seal not being one, so I give that one a pass. The Dingaloon Tent, it's just a... It looks very similar to pavilions we've got in the past, so I don't care too much about it. The Animal High Wire, I actually really love this decoration. I think this is like a really, really awesome decoration for me. Um, it's like a 5 out of 5 decoration for sure. And then the final prize is, of course, Soggy the Clown, which is a costume for Krusty. Quite like this costume. I think it's, you know, it's got unique voice, it's got some okay animations. Uh, the quest line's a bit short, but it's an okay quest line. So yeah, pretty decent costume actually overall. I like that one a lot for Krusty, so um, thumbs up there. Yeah, structure-wise, it's similar to the last one. It's pretty easy. One building, three decorations, and a character slash costume. So, uh, yeah, pretty pretty simple structure, but obviously it works. It's a good structure. So it's the one thing I can say about this update, apart from Act 4, the structure is pretty damn good. But anyway, let's talk about the premium item, which, of course, was the Dingaling Ringmaster. It's the Dingaling Ringmaster. And of course he comes with the Dingaling Bros Circus. I actually quite really like the building he comes with. It's really bright, it's really colourful, it looks really cool. The actual character itself, I will say is a bit forgettable, but he does have some cool um, animations, so that's good. The one with him on the tiger is actually like a really cool animation. I just wish the little NPC wasn't there. So I like this character a lot, to be honest. I think he's uh, pretty damn good. So, yeah, I've got no complaints. For what he is, he's, he's a very kind of you know, forgettable character, he's got no name, he's this random ringmaster, he's not anyone massively significant to the episode, you know, he's pretty, well, I think he's a little bit significant in the episode, but you know what I mean, he's like, not significant to the whole Simpsons uh, world, and he's not like a very, it's not a character in 10 years, you're going to think back to the episode he's in and be like, oh, that ringmaster, he was so cool, but at the end of the day, I think they've done what the best they could with this character, apart from I kind of would, would like a longer quest line and a bit more of an interesting quest line, but apart from that, I think the character is pretty damn solid, so yeah, I think he's definitely one of my more favourites from the update, I mean, favourite so far, but the bar's pretty low, I mean, I probably would say I prefer Soggy the Clown costume over this, but I think he's, um, he's the best character at least, so that's something, <laughs> yeah, not really much more to say, that's all I really have. He's uh, pretty decent. This one I would recommend getting. So, that's Act 1 and Act 2 been reviewed. Structure-wise, like I said, both of them are pretty damn solid. They both have one building, they both have three decorations, and they both have a character slash costume as the final prize. Both of them have a premium character combo for in the store. So, which act do I think is better? Well, based off the prize track alone, I'm going to say Act 2. And based off the... Premium and the prize track, it's definitely Act 2. So, um, yeah, Act 2 for me is the best. I think I do prefer the Amazing Smoky Monkey, Smoking Monkeys to, like, the Circus Seal and the Dingling Tent. But, like, the Animal High Wire for me is, like, really awesome. So that one kind of elevates itself. Uh, but the Smoking Monkeys in Act 1 is actually a really cool decoration. And I do like the Circus Caravan, the very first prize we get as well. I think that one's cool. But I, I just think overall Act 2 has the better... Uh, better sort of decorations, buildings, and character costume uh, as a whole, as a collective. But Act 1 isn't terrible, apart from the character. I think everything else is pretty damn solid. So that's not to not to hate on Act 1 too much. Act 2, uh, sorry, Act 3, which is coming up, looks very solid. That might be possibly a winner there. And Act 4 is not got a character, so it's not got a chance in hell of winning. But, um, yeah, no, this has uh, been an okay update. I, like I said, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling the game right now, which is a bit of a shame. I do get these periods. I, I've got, I've got, I've, it happens every year. Like, there'll, there'll always be a period where I just don't feel into the game anymore. I feel a bit burnt out. And right now, I feel very burnt out. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to look fondly on this update just because of that. I never do when that happens, but I'll have to see. But anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.